Well, I'm talking about Aust Australis and everyone's gonna buy the pot stock instead of the gaming company. Listen, bro, I'm gonna buy one share of Astralis just so I can say I'm an owner. You wanna invest in Astralis with me, Poland? Yes, sir. It's like eight dollars a stock right now. We can both become part owners. Too bad I only have seven ninety nine in my bank account. But do you think Vitality is still a top ten team? I think Zywu is a top ten team. I cannot stress this enough. Vitality literally only has one player that is contributing on a consistent basis. Shocks? Shocks is the man, Thom. Come on. Brother, you need to Not stop anymore. living two years ago. You are out of touch. Three. I mean, yeah, honestly, almost three at this point. Like, you're out of touch. Shox has an incredible ceiling, but that man has not been the same ever since, like, fucking his, like, first time on G2. Since his wrist injury? Yeah, pretty much. I wanted to say wrist injury, but I honestly, I was like, he's a watch out, Palace. Out, Palace. Swung out. I always love this part. Hold on. I'm going to go to HLTV while I have a second. I just want you to look at this chat and understand that genuinely this is and this is the way it's always been okay there's nobody helping like it's it, there this is it I, like the further back you go the higher his number goes and the the lower everybody else's look look like you got like it is literally there you go 2018 they all played well that was with happy for some reason they have happy on there and that was when they played mdl chat like my my team palace tetris one more tetris on palace that's a bit ambitious thoughts on liquid second best team in the world talent wise like they just have to get over that mental leap. He's going to be past. It's tough, dude. It. But I don't think they should make any personnel changes, which is going to be tough because every team is always so tempted when things aren't going well. I don't think that roster should change at all. And I just think that they just need to keep pushing through. They should get a mental coach. They actually have a sports psychiatrist or whatever for all of Liquid. I don't know how much the CS boys get to use them, though. They need better strats. Like, strats are not the problem. And if you think that you have a, you're seriously out of touch with the game. Nah, but where Astralis literally beats everybody and Liquid pretty much the most isn't a strat. It's, it's mid round. That's all it is. What about FaZe? FaZe is a prime example of good players don't necessarily mean a good team. There's not a single bad player on FaZe, but that team is not good. It's and like I said, it's not an individual talent thing, not at all. Phase hasn't been good since literally the 2018 major, aka, you know, they went on that downward after the major, they cut Kerrigan, and then they really spiraled out. Oh my god. Do I think OG has the potential to even be top 10? Uh, it really depends on Issa and uh, what's his name again? Is it Matthew? It's literally in entirely dependent on those two. MBK, I mean, the reality is that I think MBK brags like really all over the place. They'll have games where he pops off, games where he doesn't. I think Alexi B is very similar. I think they're both extremely smart hey, players, but they're like extremely inconsistent in their frag output. So it's going to be all on Matu and Issa. I think Issa is their best player on that team. I said it before they made the roster or like before they actually played the tournament and after the tournament kind of showed that as well. One dead time, man. Valde. Uh, yeah, Valde is nuts chat, but I, I still think this is gonna be like, I, I just, I think he's gonna have to be the linchpin of that team. But that's my own opinion, like, I don't think Valde is bad chat. I just think, like, Valde's proved himself, there's no need to even, like, we already know what he's gonna do. Fuck. He's tagged for 50. You have FAMAS? Why would I use a fully automatic weapon with no one-shot potential yeah, when I have from like that, just gonna no rotate. armor? Wondering why I'm not using the FAMAS over the Deagle in that situation. Oh no. Imagine not wanting to be the faster moving target that hits harder and has one-shot potential when you have no armor. 
Toxic? No I just want, like, no I'm only toxic when chat tries to backseat game and around, they have man. literally no idea what the fuck they're talking about. That's why you're going for body shots? I went for body shots because he got the peek on me before I actually saw him. And he aim punched me, chat. So yeah. I still have one shot potential with the aim punch, though. Get right shouldn't have retired. Your thoughts? Well, he literally didn't retire. Yeah. Um, his organization yeah. just tried to make it seem like he was so he, they could keep him attached to the brand. And then they release really convoluted and confusing statements. So everybody gets really sentimental and continues to talk about Nip and Get Right. Get instead of the fact that Get Right continuously said in every single interview that he wants to keep playing and doesn't want to stop playing. No, but he retired. I mean, can you drop me? I, fuck, dude. It's like, hey, guys, uh, I'm not going to be retiring after Nip. Oh, my God. This is so sad. Get Right's last tournament. Can guys, you guys buy is, more Nip merch, please? This is so sentimental. This is his last ever tournament, guys. No, guys, I'm, seriously, I want to keep playing. I don't feel like I'm done yet. This is so wait, wait, he's not dead? I don't even know. I didn't kill him. What? I thought I killed him. Yeah, dude. You hit him more than fucking four times. What? Sure. What? Okay, like honestly though, chat, like what the fuck? How I thought I killed? How did I not kill him? I just thought I I stopped shooting because I thought he. Oh my god! I'm yelling. At I, I don't think there's anything. Big. I need to know how many fucking hits that was. Oh. 80, 86 and four. What was I shooting him through? Oh.